Hi there, everybody. This is Arkma. Welcome back to another episode of Tales of Berseria. Last time, we made it to Taliset... Tal... Talis... Talis... Taliesin. There we go. <laughs> and, um... We're getting some very awkward vibes from this area. Apparently, our hometown of a ball still exists. And I guess the damage wasn't as bad because this city is still trading with them. Well... It doesn't matter. We have to go over there because there is an Earth Pulse point over there, and that must mean there's most likely a Therian somewhere that way. So we are on our way through these hills to go over there. I did collect a few more cat souls in between episodes. Not too much, though. Uh, one thing I want to note is while we're here, we can't actually take the boat uh, to go anywhere else. So if you haven't left to head over here yet, uh, make sure you kind of get the stuff you want to get done beforehand, because we're going to be here for a little bit. Until, uh, until we can move the ship back out of the port. It does mean that, unfortunately, I can't go to my fun little towns that have, like, all the castles. So we might be a little low for a little bit. Vanishing Thunder is a very fun move. Not too bad. Aizen gets a level up. Oh, right. I forgot. I got an expedition in between episodes. Take a look at this. Got a win, a win, and a win. Nothing new. Oh! oh. Big. What a treasure. The Orisoran brothers. A trio of dolls found drifting across the Crystal Iron Sea. One represents strength, one beauty, and one craftsmanship. And we got a new skill. So we'll send them back out. We are only missing one special and one material. Take a look at that treasure. That's... that's adorable. What are those dolls supposed to be? Otters? No, they are Orosoran. Never heard of them. They are a curious race that is said to have descended from otters. Alas, they all vanished from this world long ago. Interesting. Anyway, these dolls are incredibly lifelike. What craftsmanship. Indeed, I keep expecting them to turn and blink at me, and their fur is so delicate and soft to touch. Wait, do you think that fur is the real thing? Were these actual Orisoran? Please don't say such dreadful things. All right, that's a a little creepy now that she points that out, but at least they look cool. Oh no, no! We got a new item for Aizen, Bloodbreaker, a deep crimson blade... I'm gonna try it again. A deep crimson bracelet that instills destructive impulses in the wearer. That doesn't sound good. Uh, less attack, more arts, less arts defense. I think we'll keep what I've got right now. Oh, I didn't get it. Damn. That fight was very easy. Sometimes you get those fights where just everything comes together so well. Now don't mind me, just trying to make sure I have enough cat souls. Ah, fuck. This area itself looks similar enough. I believe it was probably around this kind of coloration. It's got this, like, fall-style orange mixed with slight greenery. It's really pretty. Oh, right, I forgot. We have a Code Red demon to go fight. How fun. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Thank you. Wait. Sorry, that break beak was on, a, was on one of those souls, and I wanted it. 
I'm gonna do a little quick movement up here to go pick these up. Because I really, really, really want to make sure I have enough for the coming one. Because, assuming a ball village is there, there'll probably be a cat's box over there. And there's probably going to be one at least on this path, so getting as many souls as I can will be for the better. Are you- why did I not get this one? I was kind of expecting to get a level up from that. I'm honestly surprised. Ooh, messed this last time. Red Sage, pick that up and put it in the pocket. Got a few level ups. We got an art for Velvet, and we've got inexhaustible, inexhaustible pendant, a pendant that shows its strength in times of peril. Take a look at that one. Oh my god, I have all these Feldspar ones. Um, less defense, less uh, art attack, but much more aim. Uh, nah. I'll keep what I got. But we did get a new art for Velvet. Let's see. Binding Frost. A hidden art that creates icy shards cold enough to chill a fiend that seek out, snare, and pull an in an enemy. Ooh, I'm gonna put that on circle. That fills up all my arts as well, so we've got something to look forward to trying out later. Say, do you know why Velvet was sent to that prison island in the first place? It had to be to funnel the other prisoners' malevolence to Anominot, right? There's an Earth Pulse point near a ball, right? Wouldn't it have been easier just to leave her there? Lack of food, probably. I heard she devoured the entire village. Could that rumor really be true? Who can say? Let's ask Aizen's coin. You know it doesn't work like that. All right, let's think. Why else would Artorius move Velvet to the island? If she was the first Therian he captured... <gasps> he needed a guinea pig to test out what was written in the ancient book! Precisely. He made a special cage for her in the island prison, where Earth Pulse Point and Malevolence met. Then he used Velvet to test how Therians work. Huh. I could see him doing that. But turning his own family into an experiment. I'm just offering a theory. But a man willing to sacrifice his brother's life wouldn't likely show mercy to his sister either. How could he be capable of such things? Perhaps that's just how badly he wants to save this world. Or perhaps there's no other way it could be saved. Huh? Worship an East Gan. Do you think there'll be ruins at this Earth Pulse Point, too? If you're expecting something like the undersea or underground temples we saw before, you might be setting yourself up for a disappointment. Have you been there before? No. But if there's any such kind of grand structure here, it wasn't recorded in the Abbey's archives. East Gand has long been a frontier, and civilization here was never really developed. Plus, the land to the east is said to be unstable, making it hard to build anything too large there. Even if a temple had been built there, the shifting earth would likely have swallowed it without a trace. The worship of Inominat may be widespread now, but just a few years ago, Empyrean faith was all but dead. Right. Still, if you actually searched for the ruins, I bet you could come up with something incredible. We've seen underwater and underground temples, so why not a temple in the sky? A temple in the sky? It's a romantic thought, and the ancients were certainly advanced, but... Flying temples are a bit far-fetched, eh? <laughs> hey, that's the beauty of magic. Anything could happen. A flying temple, a beautiful woman being sawed in half. 
The border between dream and reality is as fine as a frog's hair. Maybe you just spend too much time daydreaming. Maybe. Hmm. <laughs> I mean, the only thing I can remember was there was that giant hole that Velvet fall fell into, like, in what, episode two or three? Because it was just a place that they didn't really want anybody to go to. But we kind of did anyways. I don't know if that counts as a ruin for anything, unless it was, like, initially the base of a building that just got its entire basement destroyed. But that was one big hole, so I doubt that. There's a treasure chest just so far in the corner over there. Anything up here? There is another chest. We'll go open that up. We got a life bottle. Jumping across here. Wait. No. Go back. <laughs> I went the wrong way. Still getting used to the new area. Forgot I can technically walk over here. Oh my gosh, all the capsules! Gimme, gimme. Uh, nothing down this way. This is all blocked off. But, if we look down here... Kind of looks like a swampier area. Or just the coast of a river. We got the waterfall back over there. That's pretty big. What is that? Is that an octopus? No, that's a a marmot. Are we ready for this? Danger Roma. It's a beast and fiend. It's level 44 and weak to fire, and it entered this battle all by itself. Wow, Aizen just went in. This is an interesting enemy. Oh, I fucked that up. Good thing I have a bajillion HP. Oh my god. One second. <laughs> Realized I was paralyzed and I wanted to break it. Oh my god, that hurt. It's a good thing we got Mogilu on healing duty. I didn't even realize I had the souls for that, but I guess I did. Oh my god, they knocked him a little too high up. Okay, he's got one fourth HP out of the way. Wait, was this the code red demon? I didn't think about that. It just looks so small. Oh god. Well, it's dead, and we got the miser's glacite. Provides the ability to trigger a random skill which can have SG consumption on hard mode or above. Something we can't use, but yeah, that was our Code Red Demon. That's on me for not looking at the map, I just saw it and was really confused. Well, all things considered for a Code Red Demon, not too hard. And we can keep on moving. Let's see, we got a bunch of souls up here. Waiting for the music to loop. <laughs> Leave me alone. Oh my god, I thought I was okay. 
obviously I got a lot of damage in that corner, but I was able to break out just in time. All right. I had no problems here. I had a few problems, but uh, we rectified those pretty quickly. Oh, wow. Wait, that's actually really cool. That's a longish hit. It's got a few different hits on it, and then she kind of pulls back and drags him after. That's not bad to kind of pull yourself in and out of situations relatively safely. I'm really enjoying these arts that are more uh, movement focused. Being able to move around the battlefield with hitboxes, really nice. Allows you to really string in combos that you wouldn't be able to get. Oh shit. Stop fooling around. As I was saying, you can really chain combos. So, god damn it. You can really chain combos so seamlessly if, when your hitboxes force you into different positions around the enemy. And so it's harder for them to kind of lay hits into you. And you're able to chain in on other enemies, not just in your immediate area, but also to get on the side of them. And then you're able to pressure those enemies at the same time. It allows you to deal with a good amount of enemies without really throwing yourself too much into harm's way. Oh, I found the cat's box. That almost got a little out of hand, but everything's fine. Oh, I don't have enough. 245. I'll probably be coming back and forth through this area a bit just to make sure I have enough. But that's for later. We got a save point over here, so we must be getting close. We'll probably check the map in a second. Just want to make sure I'm not missing anything else. An old boat. Let's see. We actually don't know where this is leading to, but it should be a good spot wherever it is. We'll drop a nice new save right here. And kaboom. All right, we're in Morgana Woods, Crimson Sea of Trees. We are definitely getting close and it honestly doesn't look really worse for wear. It looks just about as we left it. I mean, they've got tougher enemies here, sure, but... Ah. That fight might as well have not have happened. Now we are in a new area, so that means a geoboard location, probably a cat's box, and some more catsoles. Got runners high. We'll equip those later. I, th I think for now my equipment on the rest of the team's all right. What was that? What is that? Is that ogre? Cyclops. It is a demi-human, it's level 41, and weak to fire and martial arts. It had a lot of HP, but not too hard. Reminded me of the rock golems back at the, um, at the... What is, what is it called, Tunnel? The one next to uh, Fort Cadnex. We've got a hop area over there that we could use our Geo board for, but 
I guess we won't be able to do that just yet. Mellow fluid. More enemies cleared out of the way. I'm going the wrong way. I need to go this way. Uh, that is the other side for the jump. Uh, if I go down this way, there's a small little path. A few items and a few capsules. I'm gonna just move around this guy. Uh, can I get you two together? Like, over... There we go. <laughs> oh my god, that did a ton of damage. Oh, he just ran. Nope. Come on, Lily. Got a level up for Aizen. Our expedition has returned. Got three wins, but no new items. Go so back onto the ship they go. <laughs> You do not get to come back onto land proper until you find all the things that are needed to be found. <laughs> I'm gonna just try and avoid this break beak, but I do want to get that last soul. Very nice. That was really nerve-wracking. It was kind of close to getting hit by the, the Cyclops, but I was able to react just in time with the claw. I didn't even see this guy here, but he's getting a brunt of something he did not need to take. Wow. I was amazing, wasn't I? We are going kind of crazy. 
few more level ups there. Leave me alone. Stop that was a dangerous encounter. That ended so fast. We are just getting so much stronger and getting so optimized that we're really starting to clean house when it comes to dealing with some of these stronger enemies. Even in the dangerous encounters. Okay, I'm gonna need you to not attack me when I go for this treasure chest. Got a quartz doll. Let's take a look at that. I just wanted to get out of the way of da uh, danger. Uh, better attack and better arts defense. Slightly less better uh, arts attack and precision, but... An honest to honest upgrade, I think. Yeah, we're just not gonna have as much arts attack, but... That's not the worst. Um, let's see, a guardian that uses quartz as a mana catalyst. I'll put it on. And see if we can upgrade it later. Oh, shit. Let it be known that this was your mistake to make, Mr. Breakbeak. I'll cut down anyone in my that was very easy. Please do not do that again. Can I get you two together? Yeah. Come on, really? I took more HP from myself than I did from the enemy that time. This is getting very embarrassing for them. Got another save point over here. Chest over here, and two more enemies that are looking for a fight. That another quartz- I think it was quartz paper, actually? No, was that just another- Oh, it was a quartz bag. I tried to read it super fast, and I failed. Uh, it would be an all-in-all -all upgrade. I'm just so upgraded at this point that my Venus Satchel is still really good. But I'll switch off of that, just because it's literally a few points down, and we still get a buff. Oh, I didn't even see him there. I thought this was the one she was comboing. Ooh, I took a lot of damage from whatever attack that was. All right, we got a special encounter. Dire foe. We got Bacturnian man. He is fiend, demi human, and a person all in one. He's weak to wind, resist fire and earth, and very, very weak to martial arts. Is his head in the wall? Oh my god! I was not ready. I guess it's stuck in the wall and he can't pull it out. Okay, Aizen is punching the man's butt. He's also partially inside him. Okay. Wait, that hit me? Okay, I'm gonna switch out for a second. That did a lot of damage. I'm gonna quickly heal up Eleanor a little bit. Okay, I think I think Rokuro just died. I was not in the best spot for that. Okay, I'm gonna try and follow up as soon as he's done punching him. Wrong button. Uh, I want to just get a revive going on Rokuro. I might be at 1 HP, but that doesn't mean I will stop doing this. Oh, Eleanor's down. Uh, here we go. gonna fall back real quick. There's a bunch of souls just lying around. Oh, 
There we go. Back talker achieved. Uh, we got the anomalous ignisite. Increases drop rate for rare equipment on evil mode or higher. We are not on evil mode, so we will not be getting any more. Thank you for coming. But he is dead. And that is very good. That voice. Oh no. I guess there's actual people over here. Alright, we got Xenomantis, Crustacean, Winged, and Fiend, level 42, it's weak to fire, and hidden arts. Kind of just realized that its back was to the end of the ring, so I wasn't able to sneak up behind it, and it just turned to face me, and I got very scared. Oh my god, did I parry that? Hold up. I'm picking that up. Let's keep that combo going. One more. Aw, oh, damn. Just kind of wave dash in its face. Oh, I missed. Okay, it's almost dead. Nice. Alright, well that's that done. We got the Celestial Glacite. Grants a random skill that creates an advantage against demi-human, armored, undead, fiend, and dragon enemies on normal mode or higher. But uh, that's not important. What is exactly going on here? I can't believe it. Is it really you? Uh, uh, <laughs> Velvet? What is this? How are you alive? I could ask you the same question. Where have you been this whole time? You just up and disappeared! Everyone thinks that you were eaten by a demon! But I knew it couldn't be true. <sighs> You're too strong to let some crummy demon take you down. You're alive. <laughs> Sorry, I... I didn't mean to embarrass you in front of your friends. I have to let everyone know the good news! You finally come back to us! Nico's alive. She's alive. Don't let your guard down. I've got a bad feeling about this. Well, naturally, we've got a Reaper with us. Let's head for a ball. We can ask everyone there exactly what happened. Yeah. Velvet, I have to ask. Are you sure that the other villagers died that day? Well, it's... It's not like I had time to check. 
Well then, I guess next time we go to a ball. I guess it's very much alive, but still, we'll just have to figure out what exactly is going on next time. Thank you so much for watching and have an excellent rest of your day.